Yeah, this three bedroom house next to Yukon Middle School will become the district's real world classroom, a place for special needs students to learn how to live independently once they graduate. Kids are our job. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. It doesn't matter. Everything from, I mean, we have teachers changing diapers. So why don't we have teachers teaching kids how to cook dinner and live? Yukon Public Schools hopes to transform this house into a practice home for special needs students. This would be a place for them to learn how to be socialized. Right? A safe space so to learn necessary life skills that can't be taught in a traditional classroom. I'm talking everything from washing dishes to making beds to cooking dinner, parking a car, mowing the lawn, literally everything that you need to, to do in life. Many of our students who have the most significant cognitive issues are with us until they're 22 years old. And so we want them to be ready when they hit that mark, when they're no longer our students, to have a meaningful career, to have a life that's full of opportunities. But before that can happen, the house needs to be renovated. And it was built in the 70s. So it's not 80, necessarily ADA compliant on the outside. You know, I could see us easily spending $100, $150,000 to make it what we need, um, you know, for kids. With a hefty price tag, the district is asking local businesses and community partners to help make this house a home. We had so many opportunities here for them to be a part of the transition house, whether it's, you know, helping us with floors, putting in new windows, a roof, uh, making this ADA accessible, uh, furniture even. And create a space for students to become confident and chase their dreams. Sometimes that mindset is already, you know, a defeated mindset to think that they can't have those opportunities, but we know they can. We absolutely know that they can. Now, the district actually already owns this property. They had purchased this home when the original plan was to expand the old high school.